can move. It's like, okay, tip your hat. But he, he really frustrates you when he doesn't have the ball. And oh, loses. Curry, three. Come on. Golden State Warriors' new squad will shock the world. Steph Curry master plan for the 2021-22 season. The Golden State Warriors are due for a comeback this season. After losing Kevin Durant to free agency and Klay Thompson to two unfortunate injuries, the Warriors organization has been downtrodden in the past two seasons. The year immediately after KD left, the Warriors were ravaged by injuries, as Stephen Curry and Draymond Green missed significant time that eventually led the Warriors missing the playoffs by a wide margin. The year after that, they were supposed to get Clay back from his ACL tear, but an Achilles tear he suffered while rehabbing dashed any hopes of a Clay comeback. Despite a standout performance from Curry, the Warriors weren't able to make the playoffs again, this time losing to the Grizzlies and the Lakers in the play-in tournament. This year, though, they are posed and ready to make some noise this season. Let's look at this Warriors roster and how they can wreak havoc in the NBA. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. The first thing and the most important thing we have to talk about is Steph and Curry. Let's start by saying the obvious thing. Steph is, quite literally, the heart of this Warriors team. Without Steph, this whole team falls apart. This is the case for most superstars and their teams. Take LeBron out of LA and the Lakers become significantly worse. Take Giannis out of Milwaukee and the Bucks become significantly worse. Same goes for Luka and Dallas. Trey and Atlanta, and so on. However, it's doubtedly true and worse for Golden State when Steph is out. Let's just put it this way. With Steph playing for nearly the entire season last time, the Warriors were a borderline playoff team. With Steph injured, the Warriors were a last place team in the West. Golden State's entire offense revolves around Stephen Curry's ability to shoot from everywhere. Without Steph to pilot the offense, the team crumbles. Draymond Green can't score to save a life, and the other shot creators on the team aren't capable playmakers, nor are they prolific shot makers that can carry an offense. However, the team can't just rely on Stephen Curry to do everything for them. That clearly didn't work last season, because when teams key in on Steph alone, the Warriors get shut down. This is where Klay Thompson's return comes back in handy. Thompson is coming off two major back-to-back -back injuries in his knee and his Achilles. As NBA fans know, Achilles injuries are some of the most career-threatening injuries, having derailed so many NBA careers. Luckily for Warriors fans, Thompson's playstyle has been reliant on insane athleticism, the main thing that Achilles injuries tend to sap from its victims. With enough rehab, Thompson can recover some of his lower body strength that he needs for shooting. His shot mechanic, if his Instagram training montages are to be believed, are still intact. Having Thompson on the wings removes a defender that could potentially double-team or triple-team Curry and is one more target for Steph to hit after getting to the rim. But let's be real, we're not really worried about the Warriors' core. On their own, Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, and Klay Thompson will still be very good. They're basically constants for the Warriors at this point. It's the other variables that Warriors fans need to be a little worried about. Take, for example, the Warriors' second overall pick last season, James Wiseman. Wiseman was a raw prospect who only had a handful of college games for organized basketball, coupled with a lack of summer league and training camp to allow him to acclimate to the NBA game. Wiseman looked like a fish out of water in his first season. His struggles were well documented among NBA nerds. He struggled with making and receiving simple passes that were the core of the Warriors' offense. He didn't have an inch of decision making. He looked completely lost in defense. On a team like the Warriors, where the bigs are required to make split-second decisions on the fly, you need a year or two to adjust. The hope is that with a full summer camp and a whole season to his name, Wiseman has gotten to know the NBA game. On the other hand, former number one overall pick Andrew Wiggins has seemingly rehabilitated his image in Golden State, once viewed as an inconsistent, inefficient shot chucker who can make some of his shots sometimes and nothing else. Wiggins has stepped up to be a solid, complementary piece to Curry. 
Under the tutelage of a defensive Mastro in green, the Canadian forward made significant strides on defense, coming out as the Warriors' top wing defender in the starting lineup. His shot selection and consistency also improved a lot, allowing the Warriors to be passable at times with Wiggins at the helm. That's more than the Warriors expected out of Wiggins, but they will need a lot more for him if they want to make some noise in the West. An all-star season from Wiggins would be the best case scenario, but even just some improvements to his passing chops would be welcomed. Finally, we have the incoming rookie, Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga impressed people in the summer league with his athleticism and finishing. However, the NBA is a way different beast than the summer league. Summer league is basically a college all-star game with some college alumni playing too to try to stay relevant. In the NBA, defenders will be faster and stronger. It's going to be a challenge for Kaminga and his slow-ass crossover to lose any of his defenders in the NBA. The looming challenge for this Warriors roster, though, doesn't come this season, but in the coming seasons. Joe Lacob and Bob Myers are trying to toe a line that many front offices have tried to before, contending for a championship while rebuilding. If you notice the Warriors roster, you have two clear stratospheres of players. The older core, who has won a championship, and the younger core, looking to inherit the reins. In theory, this idea is perfect when executed right. It avoids all the losing associated with rebuilding and keeps the timeline running smoothly for a team. In practice, though, it hasn't worked out that well for teams. The problem lies in the huge age, skill, and experience gap between the current core and their supporting cast, Future Core. The supporting cast, in this case Kaminga, Wiseman, and Moses Moody, is often compromised of fresh out of college guys that haven't had the experience of playing in the NBA or against NBA caliber opponents. Meanwhile, the current core is a battle-tested group of veterans who have a clear expectation of what they need to do to win it all. There's a large chance that the current core is either A, extremely dissatisfied with the performance of the young guys and want them traded for a more stable win-now pieces, or B, the current core becomes extremely dissatisfied and tries to get out of the team because they don't like the direction they're taking. The Lakers try to do that in year one with LeBron James, but by the end of the year, their young guys were traded away for a better-fitted Anthony Davis. The Warriors could very well be the team that bucks this trend. Maybe James Wiseman develops as a dangerous role threat that complements Curry really well, or Jonathan Kaminga becomes a phenomenal wing threat that becomes the Warriors' much-needed consistent third scoring option. However, if past history shows us anything, there's a lot of reason to believe that this Warriors experiment is doomed to fail. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to our channel. Let us know what your thoughts are by leaving a comment down below as well. We will see you again soon with something new so you can click that bell icon to get notified in the future. Till then, see ya!